Hey everyone and welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. We got our monthly hamper today, so that's what I'm sharing today. So every month we are really lucky. We have a couple, Peter and Lois, who live local, who organize a food hamper through A4 Community Care. Their, comp their, their umbrella is Aberdeen Pantry, that's what they're known by, but they get us a hamper through A4 Community Care in Brisbane. It's collected from there. Uh, and each month we have the opportunity to purchase one of these hampers. They are $50 per hamper and you get what you get in them they're one of these things that uh, they have whatever the has been donated or collected or whatever else that's going into that hamper so you never know quite what you're going to get in each month but it's always well and truly worth over the $50 that you pay for it uh, there's normally dry goods, some canned goods, some sauces, there's a bag of frozen stuff, there's a, a box full of fresh fruit and veg, things like that and so you get what you get and you just pay the $50 accordingly and that's how it works. Now, they also have bins that they get each month now. So bins of certain fresh foods that are in season. So this month, uh, I think there was some green beans, some mandarins, green apples, and some cabbages, I believe. And so you make a gold coin donation. In Australia here, our gold coins are $1 and $2 coins. So you make a gold coin donation. I always just throw in extra money when I pay for my hamper. And uh, that with that gold coin donation, you can access the bins of fresh fruit and veg, and you just grab bags of them to take with you as well. Uh, they also have, because they're under the umbrella of Aberdeen Pantry, they also have a pantry on site. So they have uh, shelving and fridges and freezers with all sorts of things that they managed to get and uh, on sale at discounted prices. So this month, Daryl spent a little bit of money in their pantry as well. So I put that after the actual hamper so that you could see what he got there. But they have a full range of things and I will go and visit at some point and get some footage of it for you. But I just... Uh, I haven't really felt up to it lately. So, but there was the last lot that we saw, they had tinned tomatoes and they've got UHT milks and they've got snacks. Daryl mainly buys snacks, uh, but they do have snack type stuff as well as frozen goods. Uh, they have some uh, boxed, I noticed they had some boxed uh, fish and some mints and sausages and things like that as well uh, and all that sort of thing so lots of stuff there available they had washing powder and dog food and cat food I think this month and maybe some cat litter or something if I remember correctly so they have a whole range of things that you can go and purchase at discounted prices at the pantry they open the pantry up on on hamper day <laughs> and uh, uh, one or two other Saturdays of a month as well so that you can go in and visit. Uh, so that works out really well for a lot of people out here because there's, it's quite a distance to go to get to anything as well. Uh, so yes, $50 for the hamper. It's through A4 Community Care and Aberdeen Pantry is the one who facilitates it out here for us, Peter and Lois, we're very grateful for that. And they happen once a month. So uh, we they fall kind of uh, varying times of the month for us compared to our grocery haul, but they, are around about the same weekend of the month every month for most people just because I shop every six weeks it makes it a little bit different so uh, I'll show you what we got in the hamper today and the few extras that we got and then I'll come back and say goodbye <laughs> Alrighty, so oh, got the mic cord in the way let me move that Alrighty. So we got a box of mixed produce. There's some sweet potatoes, some zucchinis, some capsicum, some mandarins, little cherry tomatoes, and some red apples in the bottom there as well. So that was the box of mixed. Got a bag of the green beans, chilies, and Granny Smith apples. Got five loaves of various types of bread. There is a one kilo of the long grain white rice, a couple of jars of vegan mayo, a Napolitana sauce and some other tin goods. We've got some mixed vegetables, tin spaghetti and some baked beans. There's also a can of solo, a small thing of peanut butter and a big tin of tuna. There's a couple of the baby food pouches and some toothbrushes there. We've got a one litre of the chicken stock, an almond milk and a full cream milk a roll of toilet paper and another big tin of that baby corn which I need to get to using. I've used one so far but I haven't used the second one yet. Uh, a bottle of iced tea, some kitchen bags, mouthwash, some shampoo and some dead oil spray. We got a bunch of bags of little 
mandarins. There is a box of lamb spice blend, which just sounds nice. Rosemary, garlic, and thyme spice blends. Some little mini tartare sauces and a koala plate. I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, a bubblegum soda of some sort. Some macaroni noodles, dried noodles. These meal replacement shakes. Some individual packaged little catering biscuits, as well as the uh, peanut butter, strawberry and oat balls that they've had previously. Some other varieties of little individual biscuits as well. There's a bunch of protein balls, so salted caramel and pavlova balls, protein balls there. Whole selection of those. Chicken tonight, mild butter chicken and honey mustard and a packet of the sweet potato cruskets. We also got a chicken and vegetable casserole frozen. There is half a dozen more of these little cherry tomatoes and there's a box of mescaline mix as well. A frozen mince, not entirely sure. We got turkey mince last time and it could be turkey mince again. Some frozen veggies, a packet of barbecue sausages and a frozen, this is chicken of some sort. Uh, boneless chicken, not sure what pieces, but it's, there's some boneless chicken there. Some of the individual meals, so there's a seafood risotto and a whole bunch of the crumbed chicken meals, and some little single serves of smashed avocado that are frozen as well, and a couple of beef pies. We also got a big head of cabbage. Daryl also got some treats from the pantry shop, so he bought some Coke and some salt vinegar chips, which is his favourite flavour, some of the vegan lint chocolate for the kids and some dark chocolate biscuits for himself the uh, Ferrero chocolate for me and he bought some of the uh, barbecue sausages for the kids who really like sausages and he grabbed me some sliced cheese from the freezer as well so uh, there's a huge range there and that's what he picked for today so that was this month's hamper, August's hamper. Uh, it is August, isn't it? It is August. Uh, so it'll be a, approximately a month till the next one, uh, which sometimes works out really well. As I said, for us with the six weekly grocery haul, sometimes it's a little bit inconvenient because it falls at the right time at the same time, which means that we have a little bit of challenge with storage and that sort of thing. Uh, but we're always appreciative of it regardless and we make sure it all gets used and all the rest of it. And anything that uh, we can't use goes to the animals and uh, the little frozen meals I tend to take to my mum because then she can use them in her microwave or her air fryer and things like that so everything gets used and we're very grateful for the opportunity I've just noticed how bad my eye looks too so you'll have to excuse that my eye is playing up today uh, and I hadn't realized how bad it looks on camera until just then so yes that was the monthly hamper so I'm gonna leave it at that just nice short and sweet today uh, I'll do a bit of a chat video tomorrow uh, because um, I wanted to update a few things that I said I was going to update with root we managed to process more roosters all that sort of thing so I'll do a bit of another chat video tomorrow and then I'll keep churning out the rest of the food videos after that so thank you for joining me again today and I will chat to you all on the next video